Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rockin' Storytime. Let's start off by clapping our hands. Can you clap your hands at home with me? Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello to all our friends at Storytime. We clap and sing hello. Good job everyone, that was great. Now we're gonna stomp our feet. You can't see my feet, but here, here are my knees. I'm going to lift them up really high. All right, are we ready to stomp? Let's stomp together. Here we go. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Good job, everyone. That was great. Today, we are reading about underwear. Can you say underwear with me? Underwear. That's right. So that's the word we're going to use for our bread and butter rhyme. So bread and butter keeps a rhythm. You're going to clap your hands and then you're going to clap your knees. Clap your hands, clap your knees, just like that and keep a rhythm. Good job. All right, here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say underwear as fast as we can. Underwear, 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 underwear. Ah, not half bad. How are you doing at home? All right, let's try another. Are you ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say underwear as slowly as we can. Underwear. Ooh, good job. Let's do that one more time. Are you ready? Underwear. Good job. All right, let's do another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say underwear as loud as we can. Underwear. Good job. One more. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say underwear as quiet as we can. Underwear. Good job. All right, let's see what our first underwear story is today. Oh, I see a pair of underwear right here. It is called Monster's New Undies. And it's by Samantha Berger, illustrated by Todd Carpenter. Let's see what happens. Of all days I dread, not one can compare to the day that we shop for new underwear. Oh, Monster doesn't look very happy. I'm just fine with no undies at all, or the undies I have, though they are a bit small. So what if they're old? So what if they're torn? Who cares the elastic is completely outworn? Oh, look, his mom's saying, oh dear. <laughs> Oh dear. These are my undies, a sweet work of art. Snap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, my undies. <gasps> they just fell apart. Um, do you have a towel or maybe a leaf? I thought that no undies would be a relief. Turns out it feels just a little bit Cold, a little exposed, and a lot to behold. Okay, we'll go shopping for new underwear, but which ones we get, I really don't care. <laughs> Mom says, oh my. Leave it to my mom, cause only she'd find a whole store devoted to just the behind. And it says, welcome to Undie World. It's a whole store just for underwear. Put down those undies. Those aren't the ones. Those undies aren't worthy of dressing these buns. I don't know, those are some fun undies. Do you have any ones that you like on there? Look at this one, it has a little face on it. I like that. No polka dots, 
No shooting stars, no checkerboards, no racing cars. No ice cream cones, no tiny whales, no rainbow hearts, no sailboat sails. Mmm, Monster doesn't like a lot of undies, huh? Those are too long and those are too short. Those look like a diaper, those look like a squirt. Those are too boxy, those are too tight. Those are too clingy, those glow at night. Humph. What kind of underwear does Monster like? Come on already, can't you just see? These are no new undies, just perfect for me. Please leave me here in my undie-less slump. I guess there is nothing <laughs> just right for my rump. Oh, poor monster. Oh, hang on a second. What's that on the rack? Behind all the rest, hung way in the back. They look just like mine, but will fit like a glove. The moment I saw them, my tush fell in love. Oh, look, the salesperson and mom are high-fiving. Yes, <gasps> do you know what? These are the ones. It's like these new undies were made for my buns. I love my new undies with all of my heart. I'll wear them until they too fall apart. <laughs> we'll take seven pair. No, make it 18. They're the most monstrous undies these buns have ever seen. And when brand new undies are made just for you, there's something important you really must do. What does he want us to do? Oh, the new undie pose, the new undie dance, the new undie walk, and the new undie stance. The end. I'm so glad Monster found his new undies. The end. Great listening, everyone. And since we're reading about clothing today, I thought we would do two clothing rhymes. One of them is one that we learned during our hat story time a few weeks ago. So for this one, we started by putting a hat on our head. We moved it to different body parts. But I thought you really can use anything you have in your house. You could even use a box, put a box on your head. You could, anything that will lay flat. But I thought I would use my mask today instead. So I'm going to put my mask on my head. And we'll sing our little song. Here it goes. On my head, I wear my mask. It is such a silly mask that my head wibble wobbles to and fro. Where else should my silly mask go? What other body part should I put it on? Can you think of one? Hmm, maybe my shoulder? All right, here we go. So move whatever you have to your shoulder. Are you ready? On my shoulder, I wear a mask. It is such a silly mask that my shoulder wibble wobbles to and fro. Where else should my silly mask go? How about my elbow? Can you put whatever you have on your elbow? Here we go. On my elbow, I wear a mask. It is such a silly mask that my elbow wibble wobbles to and fro. Oh no, where else should my silly mask go? Let's do one more. How about the knee? Do you think I can get the knee in here? Here we go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> On my knee, I wear my mask. It is such a silly mask that my knee wibble wobbles to and fro. Where else should my silly mask go? Great job, everyone. And you can do that one at home with any article of clothing or any body part. Let's move on to our second store song. So this one is one you may know from Baby Time if you ever listen to my Baby Times and it's called The Walrus Washes. We're gonna do it with a little bit of a twist. So let's stand up for this one. It goes like this. Oh, the walrus washes his winter coat down by the wavy ocean. 
He adds some water and he adds some soap and he waits and he waits and he waits. Now, instead of shaking, we're going to spin. Can you do this with me? Yeah, good job. Just like that. All right. And then he spins, 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 and then he spins and spins and spins, and then he spins, spins, spins until it's clean. And then he spins, 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 and then he spins and spins and spins, and then he spins, spins, spins until it's clean. Good job, everyone. That was great. Should we try that one more time? All right. Is everyone up on their feet ready to dance? Here we go, let's do it again. Oh, the walrus washes his winter coat down by the wavy ocean. He adds some water and he adds some soap and he waits and he waits and he waits. And then he spins, 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 and then he spins and spins and spins, and then he spins, spins, spins until it's clean. And then he spins, 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 and then he spins and spins and spins, and then he spins, spins, spins until it's clean. Good job, everyone. That was great. Let's see what our last underwear story is today. It is polar bear underwear. Let's see. Polar bear's underwear is by Tapira Tapira. Let's see what happens. Poor polar bear. He can't find his underwear. What's the matter? Asked his friend Mouse. I've lost my underwear. What kind of underwear were you wearing today, polar bear? I can't remember. Uh-oh. Don't worry, polar bear. We'll look for it together. Thank you, mouse. Let's see. <gasps> oh, look. Look at this colorful striped underwear. Is this your pair, polar bear? No, this is not my underwear. Whose underwear is it? It's Zebra's underwear. And it's his favorite pair. I don't blame him. Those are some cool underwear. Ooh, this pair has treats all over it. It looks delicious. Is this your pair, polar bear? No, it's not mine, Mouse. Whose underwear is it? Can you guess what animal might be wearing this pair of underwear? Let's see. Oh, nom, 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 nom. It's pig's underwear. Ooh, here's an itty bitty pair of underwear with flowers. Look, it's really, really tiny. Can you even see it? There it is. Oh, it's cute. This pair looks too small for you, polar bear. I agree. Whose underwear is it? Let's see. It's butterflies underwear. <laughs> Who knew that butterflies wore underwear? I didn't. This underwear says, I love mice. Hmm, this must be your pair, polar bear. No, this is not my underwear at all. Whose underwear is it? Whose underwear might say, I love mice? Hmm, can you guess? I love mice. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, it's cat's underwear, run! Ooh. This pair of carrot underwear is upside down. Hmm, is this your pair, polar bear? No way. Whose, oh, whose, whose underwear is it? Whose underwear might have carrots on it? Can you guess? Whose underwear is it? It's Bunny's underwear, and it looks great on it, her head. Look at that silly bunny wearing those underwear under upside down. 
Hmm, here are some white underwear. Whose pair could they be? Hmm, let's look closer. Whose underwear might these be? <gasps> oh, polar bear, you are wearing your underwear. Your pair isn't lost at all. Oh, I forgot I put on my new underwear today. The end. Silly polar bear, <laughs> he was wearing his underwear all along. The end. Great listening, everyone. Should we end with our head, shoulders, knees, and toes? What do you think? Are you ready to get back up on your feet? You ready to dance? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Good job, everyone. Do you think you can do it a little faster? Here we go, ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Good job, everyone. I can't wait to see you all next week. Bye-bye. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Bye-bye.